Okay, take away my touching tribute to Derek the Parrot Funeral. It's also so emotional performance by Elton John Hairbrook and Kate Gerber. We paid an emotional tribute to late as Ben Derek rapper today, accompanied by the great and good of politics and show business. The Good Morning Britain star, Fifth Isaac, was joined by the couple's two children, Darcy and Billy. With 17 year old Darcy bravely helping carry the coffin as her tearful mother looked on. Poignantly, Kate wore a Derek's watch during the funeral. Held at Stas Mary's Church in London's Primrose Hill. Of course, including Tony Blair. Elton John, Susanna Ribbon, Shepherd. Kiss the Admiral Magnet Claus Old Song, Lord of the Dance. Sir Elton, who had arrived with a walking stick, sang his hits, killing Pisa and his guests visibly welled up. So, for the Los Winners, man was familiar. And let me fly to distant lands, over green fields, trees and mountains, flowers and forest fountains. Home along the lanes of the skyway. For a man who had spent much of the past three and a half years bedbound, bravely battling the crippling effects of COVID, the meaning was lost on no one. Former Pembler, under whom they work for a new labor, also gave a touching speech during the elegies. And so I formed the English the, the gospel, Hallelujah. Good in my head and close off with Nuns Dimitris. It was a heart wrenching day. But an incredible send off for a wonderful man. Kate Darcy and Billy were so, so strong to walk and would have been hugely touched by the incredible turnout. It was testament to Derek's popularity in every area of his life. Kate wore Derek's watch so that she could carry a little piece of him on the day. And everyone was, of course, so kind to her. Quite simply, the public outpouring of support has kept her going off late. Flowers left outside the church while the Service took place, included those from the children. Darcy. Darcy wrote all my heart. At one point, the attendees could be seen holding candles as the service, which lasted around two hours, fell on candy mass. The festival marks the official end of Christmas. It is understood that Derek had been involved with funeral requests prior to his tragic death. Uh, the funeral, from start to finish, was everything that I could have wished for and more at the source. He was a pragmatist in life and had made some of the questions and gentle suggestions in his after. Late in the family did him proud. Elton could be heard singing live towards the end of the service. Stunning passers by who recognized his iconic voice. Tony and Chidi Blair left shortly after the service, followed by Elton and husband David Furnish, who gave a brief wave to press outside. Former labor politicians at Miliband and Ed Bowles who left with Robert Rinder, left shortly after. Other guests appeared to enjoy a champagne reception while the family attended the committal. One attendee stepped, one attendee stepped outside, clutching a glass of Fizoa cigarette. Other guests seen leaving included Alex Beresford, Charlotte Hawkins, Peter Mandelson, Derek's old boss, and Roman Kemp. The coffin was carried back to the church around 90 minutes later, with the coffin ordered into the house. Caitlin and the family then left for the private burial in Jaguars, just before Du Point Side Typo. Several members of the public broke in top as the cars drove off. After the service, close friends and family gathered for a private celebration of the former lobbyist's life. In honor of all the campaigning care is done, Keras also donated some machines for guests to make contactless donations, a mental health charity man to white boxes for cash donations. Derek died on January, served from complications of long COVID. The previous month he had suffered a devastating heart attack, but against all odds, had initially overcome this latest setback to his health. The one time political spin doctor, the acclaimed psychotherapist, who retained in the States after quitting the Labour Party in the 90s, had become Britain's longest suffering hospital inpatient after being stricken with the virus in March 2020. As heroically fought coronavirus, the beloved father of two was subsequently plagued with, with a raft of health issues, as well as damaging kidneys and liver. He developed orders in his autumn, but was eventually tried to bring him out of his 10-week induced coma 
he did not respond. After he moved back home in April 2021, medic required around the clock care and was rushed back to hospital with life threatening sepsis in August the following year. He was struck down with more ill health in the following months and suffered a huge heart attack last December.